Better Biking with Survival Skills. Not entirely to my surprise, part one of my mini-series on the technique of trail braking got a mixed response. Some were supportive, having clearly got the pros and cons part of the title, and who'd listened to the explanation that trail braking isn't best suited to bumpy roads. That's because braking compresses the front forks, reducing their ability to soak up irregularities. So if we want our suspension to work on bumpy surfaces, then that's a job best done when we're off the brakes, since the forks are extended for full movement. I also explained that as the force generated by hitting a bump works up, Upwards, the more we lean, the less effective our forks become. That's why I suggested getting braking completed before arriving at a bumpy corner. Then there was the response that said, BS, if you don't know about trail braking, you don't know how to ride. There was no comment on the video content about dealing with uneven surfaces, just a broad brush assumption I didn't understand the technique. I thought I'd made it clear enough that part one was about a very specific limitation of trail braking, but apparently not. So this item is a kind of background filler, a 1B if you like. Now as it happens, I learned about trail braking more than 40 years ago and have been personally exploiting the ability to brake into a corner since the mid 80s. It was about then we finally got motorcycle shadows and tyres that neither tied themselves in knots nor washed out mid-corner if I touched the brakes. And so I've also been teaching trail braking since I launched my school in 1997, long before YouTube and the current generation of influencers. Aside from the BS claim, I was also told that if I didn't like American advice, I could go look at your own Bennett's Bike Social from 2019. Should you brake while turning? Motorcycle riding tips. As it happens, I actually have a shelf full of books by US authors because they offer some novel thinking and a very welcome contrast to the stock UK approach to writing. As a result of that, some of what I've learned has become incorporated into my training. Anyway, I did what I was told and found the video. I read the intro and the link is below in the description for anyone who wants to watch it. The first thing I saw is that the presenter is not advocating trail braking as a default technique. The video description says, what should you do if a corner tightens up on you? Is it safe to use the front brake? Motorcycle racer, instructor and precision rider Chris Northover explains how to scrub off speed without crashing. Just 20 seconds into the video, he says, and this is a direct quote, we all try not to brake in a bend. My point exactly, we should learn the braking into bends technique so we can use trail braking when we need to, not because someone's told us it's the better way to get round a corner. In fact, there's nothing in the get the braking done upright approach I talked about last time to prevent you, me or anyone else from trail braking into a bend if we have to. Braking in a straight line and trail braking into a bend are not either or alternatives. One's not right and the other's not wrong. As I've said many times, trail braking Braking is a great technique to master along with the ability to brake mid-corner, just as so long as we know how it can work to our benefit and how it can make life more complicated. What's wrong is suggesting trail braking should be a rider's first choice on every bend regardless of the specific circumstances. That's not a great idea no matter who says so. I don't tell anyone how they should ride. I attempt to make you aware of the consequences, whether good or bad, then leave you to make the choice. I use trail braking when I need to, not because I want to. And the link to that video is down below in the description. <laughs> 